Freak Nation, Crockett Myers joining us here in the Freak Nation, Arena Cross pilot. Of course, you can catch Arena Cross on MAV TV. But before we get into uh, Arena Cross, let's be honest with you, man. Who are you about to go out to dinner with, buddy? Uh, I'm about to head out to dinner with my grandparents. So uh, they uh, just drove back from Texas. So we're going to go hang out and have some dinner tonight. That is the best. Now, see, that's that's ballsy and i say it's ballsy because there might be some of your buddies that might hammer you a little bit saying you're going out with your grandparents why aren't you going out and throwing down with some of your boys uh dude no we did that yesterday on the golf course so uh it was a good time <laughs> we w- went and played some golf yesterday and then watched the supercross last night so we had that the fun day yesterday so it's all business with the grandparents tonight when you go out to dinner with your grandparents do they give a damn about your arena cross or do they hammer you about other things um I, I think they enjoy it. They really do. They're retired now, so they actually just drove from Texas and pulled in. I'm at Moto Sandbox right now in my RV. They uh, just pulled in from Texas and dropped off some handlebars for my bike. So I think I think they enjoy it, but we also go back and forth about other stuff. So it's pretty cool. But wait a minute. If if I understand this correctly, you got into dirt bikes not really on a whim. You You were always behind the wheel of something as a kid. But then dirt bikes, you just started getting good. You went to Loretta's. Boom. The rest is history. But were your grandparents along or and your parents, let's just say, along for the ride the whole time? And all of a sudden they're like, this is our family business now, so to speak. W- let's go. Yeah. So dirt bikes is kind of weird. Um, I don't really know how I got into it. I've always been drawn towards stuff with wheels and motors and stuff like that like when my grandpa would go mow um i would always have to be there to get on the mower with him so he'd go mow um i was driving a john deere gator from the time i can remember so yeah i've always just been been drawn to it and actually both my cousin raced my brother rode for a little bit growing up and uh i guess just the the myers family is all about uh wheels and stuff and motors so it's just how we kind of roll man so I know you're a rookie in the Arena Cross Series this year, and they are tight courses. It's a kind of a different mindset from what you have come from on dirt bikes. What do you want the future to be? I mean, the future might go in a certain direction, but what do you want your future on two wheels, on four wheels to be? Um, obviously, I, I love the Arena Cross. It's a, it's definitely tight racing. It's close racing. Um, a lot of guys packed onto a small track, so it definitely gets hectic out there. But it's good. I would. I would like to be a supercross racer. I think the arena cross is going to help me kind of grow and get my feet wet in the indoor racing and supercross style tracks. Um, but I, I'd like to be uh, a top supercross guy for sure. Enough supercross racers and you could take your grandparents to dinner anywhere in the country. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Wherever they sure, want man. to join you, that you're going to be there and you're going to pick up the tab and they'll, they'll take your handlebars anywhere. Yeah, <laughs> absolutely. But I stumbled onto some Crockett the Rocket coffee. Did, did you brew that coffee, or is that something somebody sold you like a private label thing? Um, it's kind of a private label thing. Um, a guy I grew up riding dirt bikes with, he was actually kind of the first guy I ever met as like a, I was probably, shoot, five or six. His name is Sean Connors. He, uh, he runs, runs the deal and kind of has been helping me out with the coffee stuff. Um, it's 640 coffee. Um, I think it's, it's, uh, they brew it in Canada, I believe. And they get the beans from Canada. I, I could be wrong, dude. I, I'm working on it. I'm still learning and growing and trying to figure all of it out, but we have the bags. Now we have the coffee ready to go. Um, I actually have 40 bags coming to Daytona being ready to sell. So if anybody wants any coffee in Daytona, come get some, I'll have it. You drink coffee. I, I'm, I'd be surprised some if you found out that, and I can't drink coffee, but do you drink coffee? Absolutely, dude. I'm 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 pretty wired as it gets without coffee, but coffee's just a cherry on top, dude. It gets me going. <laughs> and why, yeah. I listened to some of your videos, dude. <laughs> wired is the least you could say. You're, you, <laughs> when you get off the bike, you are flying at a different place. Uh, do you can turn that on or turn it off when you need to? Um. It's kind of hard to turn it off, so I, I try my best to keep my – my. I mean, if you saw me, like, just friend to friend, like, you'd be like, dude, you need to chill out. But it's like when I get on TV, I try to tone it down a little bit because I got to be a little bit more professional, and and obviously my mouth isn't great. But um, I, I, I think – this sport needs that. I mean, it's seriously, that's how we all are. Like, that's how all the guys are. We're, we're really high strung. We get hot, we get mad, we start yelling. 
but then 20 minutes later we cool off and we're back to our normal happy self so it's it's a it's a cool gig i don't think um there's very many guys that are always as happy as i am all the time i don't for whatever reason i don't ever really i get mad don't get me wrong but i normally level out pretty quick so but yeah i'm, I'm always i'm always high energy for sure but when it comes to emotions in motorsports, in any sport, to be perfectly honest, you guys are putting your lives on the line for the entertainment of other people sitting in an arena. You should be allowed to get mad, to get sad, to get absolutely awful <laughs> if you want to. So, yeah, who cares? The real personalities are what matter. And people in those grandstands, no matter how mad you get, can relate to that. Exactly. Yeah. I, I and it's it's crazy because it all is broadcast so it's it's all on tv and it's all live and, and people see it and you're always going to have the keyboard warriors like oh this guy's a crybaby or this guy's got a bad mouth or whatever it is i mean it's it's life man it's it's how right. it goes you have good days you have bad days so you gotta gotta run with them all crockett myers arena cross pilot joining us here in the freak nation and again you can catch arena cross on mav tv you've got uh, daytona speed weeks and they wrap it up in reno I know where you're from, League City. I'm very familiar with that area. I dated a girl in Texas City at one time, and that's the last <laughs> time I've ever been to Texas City, my friend. But there's a lot of damn astronauts in your area there in South Southeast Texas. Why not be an astronaut instead of riding around on two wheels? Why don't you be famous? Go jump on Mars or something. Dude, what's funny about that, so before I even touched a dirt bike, my grandpa always called me Rocket. That's kind of how I got my, uh, my nickname Rocket, Crockett the Rocket or whatever. Cause like I would probably, I just always do some, something stupid. And I mean, splash somebody in a puddle or I don't, dude, I can't even, I don't even know what I did, but he would always be like, way to go rocket because he knew I wasn't going to be like a, a rocket scientist or anything like that. So <laughs> kind of a, uh, just a grown up name. It's kind of just how it came about. Not even anything to do with dirt bikes. So pretty funny. Now, if, if you were to sell me on why I should live in league city, uh, what, how would you sell me? to live in league city crockett the rocket um so i actually don't live in league city that's where my grandparents live in ebr the right. team i ride for is in league city but i Got live it. in anderson navasota area so it's 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 a pretty laid back small little town just outside of the college station where texas a&m right. is um but funny story about me i've lived my life more in georgia and florida than i actually have in texas even though i'm from oh. texas and i've spent my fair amount of time there um, I definitely know the ropes around Florida and Georgia better than anywhere else. So I couldn't really sell you too much on Texas. Um, <laughs> but I do I do like the the boots and the cowboy hat and the and the background of it, but I'm not I don't I don't want to be something I'm not, so I don't I don't go around just because I'm from Texas wearing the cowboy hat and stuff. I'm just straight on me, man. You ever ride a bike or go fishing or just hang out with your grandfather? Uh, he sounds like a pretty righteous dude. Uh, you ever go hang out with him? I do, man. Both of my grandparents, my mom's side and my dad's side. Uh, I hang out with both of them. My, my dad's side just came down today, so that's who I'm going to go have dinner with. And then um, my mom's side, he plays a lot of golf. So I, that's he's not really how I got into golf. Uh, one of my buddies, Levi Kitchen, got me into golf. I uh, showed up at a facility. I didn't really know Levi all too well. And uh, I remember him asking me, when am I going to be in town? And uh, I told him when, and he was like, all right, good. We're going to play golf the next day. So now that I got into golf, I can play golf with my grandpa. So that's pretty cool. He obviously smokes me, but it's still a fun time. But now my grand, my dad's side, he's more, uh, he's more chill laid back. He, he just, he's getting a little bit older now, so he don't, he don't get around too hot, but I mean, he, I mean, he's perfectly fine. He walking around today, just fine. And, uh, but he doesn't, he don't do all too much. Just chills out, man. So, but we do hang out a lot. It's pretty cool. This, I mean, twice you've brought up golf in this interview. Mm -hmm. That's amazing. I mean, you're, before you know it, your handicap's going to be really low. And I still, now we find out that Levi Kitchen's the one that brought you into golf. So yeah. have Levi get you into Supercross as well. And then the story is perfect. Heck yeah. Yeah, no, we're working on it. Um, yeah, no, I went and played golf with Levi yesterday and went to his house to watch Supercross. Me and Levi are pretty tight. So, no, me and Levi, we both love fishing and we love golf. So, it's uh, it's pretty cool. Us motocross guys, we, we're pretty drawn to golf and fishing. I don't know why that is, but it's pretty cool. All right, wow. Crockett, we'll end it with this. Is Buddy Antonez the greatest arena cross pilot ever? I would have to say so, dude. He's he's He was pretty gnarly. Is Kyle Peters 
close? Um, obviously it's a different day and age, but I think if you had Buddy in his prime and Kyle, I think it would be close. What's your prize possession there in your RV? What's I mean, what's the what's the one thing that if it's on fire you're gonna grab besides your bike? Probably my record player. I can show you because I'm on my phone. Right. My yeah. my girlfriend got me this record player right here for Christmas. Oh. So I got Nirvana, <laughs> Nirvana, Pink Floyd. So that's that's my go-to right there. Record I'd probably player. grab that and run. Crockett the Rocket is going to leave his record player unattended in his RV with Nirvana to go have dinner with his grandparents. Now, that's a sentence that not everybody could say in any form of motor competition. Good for you. Thanks, man. Pretty cool. Yeah, I'm a, I'm a grunge kind of guy. I like some Alice in Chains, Pearl Jam, Nirvana. It's, it's my it's my gig. Hello, 90s. Uh, yes. I got, a, I got a Sublime shirt on right now. There you do. There you do. Yeah. So. Oh. Now don't get me going on that, my my man. Yeah, I mean, you're, talk, you're talking to a guy that's big at pirate radio. That's the dude that yeah, you were in Southern California. You listen to him. I mean, you know the whole story about the about the rooster and Allison Chains, right? Do tell. Uh, no, we don't need to get into that. Come on, yes, we no, do. We you don't. brought it no, up. No, no, Let's no, go. No. I believe it was Lynn Staley, I believe it was Staley, the, the the singer who's passed. It was his old man that was in Vietnam that called him the rooster. Go back and mm -hmm. listen to those lyrics, my friend. You'll you'll get it. Ooh. All right. <laughs> Will do, man. That's cool. Off the so me me and Levi actually did a lot of the motocross guys, supercross, all the are the gnarly dudes. Uh, we all typically listen to grunge and rock, so it's pretty cool. Right. I'll have to I'll have to get with Levi on that. I don't know if he knows that one or not. Early Soundgarden or later Soundgarden? <sighs> probably I did. I like a lot of Soundgarden, so probably all of it. Yeah. There you go. All right. I thought that was going to be the last question. Hey, brother, <laughs> uh, go enjoy your time with your grandparents, my friend. All right. Heck yeah, man. Thank you, guys.